During Women's History Month, News 5 with our friends at Dress for Success Cleveland are profiling a series of phenomenal women who are in charge and making change. So this morning we introduce you to Susie Bargate, a Cleveland president and CEO who has some advice and sound advice to the next generation of women leaders looking to break glass ceilings. Step inside vocational guidance services and you'll find an array of people hard at work. When we paid a visit, this group was making pants for U.S. Postal Service workers. Those doing the work often find it hard to secure jobs outside of these walls. We work with individuals who have disabilities to help them connect within their community, connect with employers, and find employment. Susie Barrigate is the president and CEO for VGS, which has a 131-year history in Cleveland. Barrigate has been with the nonprofit for 25 of those years, working her way up from HR. The company has employed as many as a thousand people at a time. Those placements now down to about half that due to COVID. Individuals who have disabilities are often shut out of the um, labor market. So there's all sorts of opportunities that we're working to create when an individual isn't quite ready to go out and be on their own in the workplace. Barrigate says her journey to the top was courtesy of a series of great managers and mentors. But I had people here who were my champion and who said, I think that you can do more. I think that you can learn more. I think you should try all these things. And if it hadn't been for those people, I wouldn't be where I am. But she says the rise to the top has its challenges, especially for women. I'm often the only female in a room. Often I've had People treat me like their daughter when we're peers. Um, and I, it, it's an interesting feeling to walk into a room and be the only of something. Um, and that happens a lot the higher up the leadership ranks that you get, unfortunately. It's just one of the reasons this CEO has dedicated her time and resources to helping Dress for Success Cleveland. The nonprofit helps women preparing to enter the workforce, providing professional clothing. Having a professional outward appearance does a lot of things for internal self-confidence. And training. They're doing interviewing skills. They're doing life skills. So it's really a much more holistic organization. Susie has been working with Dress for Success Cleveland since 2005 when VGS formed a partnership with the nonprofit. The two are even housed in the same building. Susie tells me she also stepped in to serve as executive director for a stint. It's a program she's very fond of because she believes in helping women achieve the confidence necessary to thrive in the workforce. I don't think that you can be successful unless you have enough confidence in yourself. And knowing that you matter is part of that. Courtney Guzman, News 5. Barrigate hopes that one day her services won't be needed any longer because people with disabilities won't be left out of the workforce. To learn more about vocational guidance services or Dress for Success Cleveland, be sure to check out our website, news5cleveland.com.